from the Greenville Terminal, and they send me uh, on this first run. And when I get there, the load is not ready. It, the appointment says that this load is going to be ready today at certain at a certain time, right? Right. So I always make it a habit to try to get you know to my places an hour early. And so I got there an hour early, and they were like, you know, well, the load's not ready. I was like, well, I'm an hour early. But it was like, well, it tells me this load's really not going to be ready till tomorrow morning, but if you can drop your trailer, and then, you know, when you come back in the morning, it'll be loaded, and you can be on your, uh, be headed up to Ohio, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, fine. So I, I didn't make no money that day. You know, once they had relieved me, I'm like, cool, man, I'm about ready to make my $300 for the day. Nope, drove down there and ended up sitting for the rest of the day, waiting for this load, right? So now I wake up the next morning. I wake up the next morning, go get the load, and guess what? Oh, 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 oh my, I missed something. I missed something. I missed something. My bad, my bad. When I got there, uh, I don't know if you know, but Covenant bought land there. You know, they're the same company, right? I Did know you know that? that? I know now. I know Covenant. Oh, yeah, Covenant. I know, I know, I know the, I know uh, Covenant as, as a trucking company is, is, is part of a conglomerate. I know that much. I didn't know Landy yeah, was part of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Covenant is the umbrella over uh, Landair, Star, and uh, Southern Refrigerated Transport. Right. right. I, I think they got there. I think there's another company, but I do know of those, these three: Landair, Star, and uh, and um, Southern Refrigerated Transport. And of course, you know the Covenant trucks, the, the teaming trucks. But what I forgot to tell you is that when I got to the customer. That who was there, there was a covenant driver that was there that was dropping his trailer, and and he told me to drop my trailer. Now, this dude was telling me that he was, because it, it was some, like some holiday. I don't know if it was, what holiday was around June? Uh, was it was Memorial Day? Memorial Day, yeah, that could, the, the, beginning uh, of the, the beginning of the summer holiday, and I think Labor Day is yeah, the, end was, of the end of the summer holiday. So, yeah, I think it's Memorial Day. Yeah, it, it was the Memorial Day weekend, and that covenant driver was like, man, I've been waiting to get home, right? And I'm like, yo, but I'm in my mind, I'm saying to myself, dude, this load is doing Ohio. Like, how do you talk about going home and, and all this mess, right? But I was like, man, mind your business. So we so we both took off. I came, I came back the next morning when they told me. I came back 7 o'clock in the morning. His trailer was loaded. My trailer was still empty. Mm. I was there. He was not there. So then I called the dispatcher. I said, hey, uh, my trailer that I dropped yesterday, they didn't load my trailer, but the Covenant guy that was here yesterday, they loaded his trailer, but he's not here to pull the load. And so they were like, yo, tell him to give you that load. But the people wouldn't give me that load because I didn't have the right pickup number. And so I told the dispatcher, I was like, listen, these guys need you. Uh, to give me the correct pickup number to pick up this guy's load. And the dispatcher would not give me the correct pickup number to pick up that load. So that day, I sat, and I did not make any money. Wait, so, so this, this they, sounds like you've been, you, you been there for a couple of days already. Yeah, yeah, this is, um, this is like the first day in the truck after orientation. The very first assignment that they sent me to, it fell through, right? Okay. So the next day... So the next day he calls me, he's like, hey, let's try this run. So he said, he sends me to an international paper down in Georgia, right? Right. Get there, I get there, and it's basically the same situation. Uh, you know, I, I'm checking in, and they're looking at the trailer, and they was like, that trailer is not in the system. So apparently, Landier has it set up at, at uh, over at this international paper place where the, the trailers are the pickup number. So he sends me to this place, you know, with a with a trailer, talking about some driver broke down or, you know, he wasn't available or whatever. He sends me in there with a trailer that's not even in their system, so they wouldn't even load the trailer. And I told him, I was like, hey, they're not going to load this trailer because this is not the right trailer. Why? But, I mean, could, couldn't International Paper, could it just just change that? I mean, that, that sounds so trivial right there. I mean, they could have just they they could have. I mean, even though it's not the right trailer, but still, they could have they could have said, "Oh, okay, well, you know, whatever happened happened, and you're here to pick up this load that needs to be gone." See, that's see, that's the thing that I don't understand with some uh, 
shippers and receivers. And and this is this kind of mind boggles the it, it boggles the mind all the time. Like if you get there with their product, whether it's late or on time, like if it's late, they'll turn around and be like, Well, you're late. But don't you still need the product though? <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? Don't you still right. don't don't you yeah. still need the product? <laughs> you know, I it makes me feel like I was gonna say it made me feel like what I brought to them wasn't even all that important. <laughs> it's like that made me feel like I brought y'all some garbage or something. Right. So they. So this is a, 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 another account that you're not able to, uh, not able to get <laughs> anything going yet. So this is second nope. day. So you. So you, so far, you you you're not making no money. So far, what's what's nope. going on, bro? Oh no, that's what I'm asking. I'm saying, and, I, and, and all this time I'm doing it, what you asked you, like, yo, didn't you call back to your recruiter? Didn't you talk to somebody? Say, hey, I, everything that I was offered, I'm not getting. Yo, this is what I'm doing at that time. I'm like sending out emails. I'm like, listen, man, something's not right. You know, I'm, I don't even think I'm at the right terminal. You know, I'm like, you know, raising up all these flags. Like, hey, you know, how is it that I, I've been here for two days and I ain't even made no money yet? So then they sent me out to another uh, assignment. Uh, it was a Colgate. Uh, it was uh, they sent me over to Colgate, oh, and it was it was it, it was the same situation over there. But I was able to get that load the following day and get my ass up to Ohio and, and start making money, man. What did, was you? But, what was you able to? Was you able to get some detention pay, layover pay for 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 those two mishaps right there? Um, did they pay? I believe they did. I think they um they paid like a stop pay. They they definitely paid me for the miles that I drove, but don't as far like, as like any additional don't, pay, don't sound like it was much miles considering the fact that no, you you sat majority of majority of two days. You know, well, uh, the total miles for that week, um, driving from Greenville, Tennessee, down to uh. Calhoun, Tennessee, and that, like I said, that load failed out. Then we drove from Calhoun, Tennessee, down to, uh, to I think it was like Tifton, Georgia. I forgot where that international paper is, but it, it's deep down there, just like it's deep down I seventy five. It's almost it's just like close to like you. I ain't gonna say it's close to the Florida board, but it, it, I just know it was it was a little ways down seventy five. Okay. And then, and then I hold out with miles up uh, in Atlanta because that's when I had to get that Colgate load. And yeah, I, mean, I still, I still got decent miles. It's just that you know I just wasn't able to get no loads. Damn it, man! Um, so, are, so, yeah. so, so, are you, are you still with Landair or no? You, you, you left them alone. No, no, no! I'm still here, man. Because like, no, I just, I just completed ninety days. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like. I've already been to a whole bunch of companies, man. I'm one of those drivers that if I show up at another company and they look at my job history, they're going to be like, uh, no, nah, you, you was an unstable driver. Right. I, I actually almost went through that. Yo, I almost went through that when I was at Covenant with, uh, with Trucking Nails. Mm -hmm. When we went there, they almost, they almost didn't even accept me at Covenant. And she was the, almost, she almost had to find another teammate, dude. Okay, <laughs> I so you, to go back so so you you uh so at Covenant you 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 teamed with uh Truck and Nails for a little bit. How how did that go? Oh yeah, man. I thought she told you about all of that, bro. <laughs> oh man, yo, I never did training before in my life. You know what I'm saying? She just when she just came out the out the blue, man, and just you know decided that she was going you know put a dude to the test. You know, train me on how to drive a truck. Wait, like, wait, wait, was, wait, was, wait, 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 hold me. up, bro. You already got <laughs> twenty. You already, me, you already got twenty years in the game. Why, why, why the fuck you needed to be retrained for? What, what's going on here? No, not me. I was training her. Oh, she wanted was, me to train her how oh, to drive. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. You was training her. Yeah. But wait, you Yeah, but I've never was been a trainer. Wait, y'all was trainer trainee or was y'all or was y'all two teaming? Like teams. 
Uh, both. Uh, trainer, trainee, and, and team. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, uh, yeah. she, you know, she had a, I, I can't remember the, I can't remember our conversation. I mean, Truck and Nails came on to the show like uh, three times already. Shout out to Truck and Nails. Mm-hmm. But what was up? Uh, what what was you know from what you can remember? What what was uh what was it like with her, or let me rephrase that. What was Man. it like? What was it like having a female on the truck uh on the truck with you? And I'm and I'm hoping you wasn't one of them one of them thirsty ass guys, man. Hell no, hell no, <laughs> hell. Let me tell you, man. I uh when it comes down to females on the truck, I'm not. I'm not, I, I, I never done it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I was married for like 20 something years and, and even my own wife never was really on the truck for any runs like that. Mm-hmm. That was actually the first time doing long distance runs, you know, with a woman that I didn't even know on the truck, man. It, it was, you know, but I'm a professional dude, man. You know, I, I stay professional. You know what I'm saying? I, especially in a situation like that, you know, you can lose your job. The only way you ain't going to lose your job is if, is if that woman actually propositions you and you got that mess on record. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you got to be like, uh, you got to be like, had that recorder on at all times. <laughs> Full show. Oh, Full man. Show. So, uh, Full. so, so you guys. Oh, it was scary, uh, how, man. How, how long, how long was it when you got, how long was it that you guys was together? Um, you see, she showed up when I was over at night refrigerating. So I actually started training her over at night refrigerated, but night was on some bullshit. You know, they, they like the safety manager that, uh, was over, uh, truck and nails. Um, they had a specific, um, uh, set of obligations that they wanted her to meet, uh, uh in her training. Right. Mm-hmm. But the dispatcher, but the dispatcher that I had, he wasn't putting us on none of those runs. You know, I, I was an OTR driver. And I'm going to new places every day at my refrigerator. I'm all 48 states. Mm-hmm. Whereas the safety manager, the safety manager that was over trucking mail, they wanted her on the uh, public's account. Now, uh, the public's account just runs uh, from, uh, it runs around Georgia and it runs around Alabama. I actually ran that account. You know what I'm saying? Like, whenever... They didn't have drivers to cover it. They would send me over an hour running. So I could have ran that with her, but for some reason, he didn't want us running that. And so she wasn't able to get the proper training that she was supposed to get uh, from night, and she ended up not uh, passing, you know, their training. So I quit night refrigerated and went over to Covenant so I could finish training her to make sure that, you know, because she had a mission. She had a goal, you know what I'm saying? And me, I can't call myself... You know, Mr. Black Power, I'm all about my people. And I know that the sisters is out here struggling. The sister want to learn how to drive a truck. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to look out for her. I got to look out for the sister. I got to help her accomplish her goal. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm comfortable in my game. You know, so I left night, went over to Covenant, and I was concerned about my work history because I've been to so many companies. I even told her that. I was like, yo, I'm taking a big chance, yo. But I left the door open with night. I didn't tell him where I was going. I just told him I need to take a couple days off. Or I need to take a week off. And so we went up there for the orientation, and, and there was something of a clearinghouse. For some reason, my clearinghouse wasn't showing up. And because they couldn't see me on clearinghouse, they were like, hey, man, we got to send you back home. And she was like, you know, she was like, oh, man, because now it was with the she was going to have to team up with a stranger, and she didn't want to team up with no strangers and stuff. So I went back the night, got, got back up in the truck, like, I ain't really trying to go get another job. I ran, like, two runs. And then somebody from Covenant called us like, hey, we got your clearing house up. And we get into this. And so they rushed me back over there. They, they put us up in the truck. And then while we was there, the first the first 40 hours, she had it. So they, they didn't even want me doing no driving the first 40 hours. And then um, was you she getting, had to go back for her research. Was you getting, but, train, was you getting tr- uh, trainer's pay while you was training her? Or was it? Or was it paid that was just to the truck and then split between the both of y'all? No, it was just paid to the truck. It's been cleared it too long. Wow. It wasn't paying me that 70. Because so, I, I came with my training, you know what I'm saying? But basically, you only you, you, the, the only reason why you went to Covenant was just to train 
was just the train truck and nail. So I, how long you was there at Covenant before you left and got what well, land there? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Um, so we got to uh, Covenant. I want to say we got there last year. I think it was August. No, it might have been earlier than that. It might have been last year, July. Yeah, it was actually last year. June, as a matter of fact. Now, um, if I can re- if I can remember good, if I can remember good, Truck and Nails left Covenant as well, right? She went. If I'm not yeah, mistaken, yeah. if I'm not yeah. mistaken, she went to Warner. Yeah, yeah, we we left uh, we left Covenant together because they wasn't running me. They were running her, but they were making me sit. And I'm like, yo, I'm not making no money doing this. So I was like, yo, I can't do this. So um, I was like, yo, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go do something else. So we went to Gold Coast. So we ran Gold Coast for a little bit, but that wasn't really working out. So I was like, "Yo, fam, I'm gonna have to take a break, man." You know, because you know, training her and all the stuff that I was going through with the dispatch, and it was just. Uh, hey, so you, so you and uh, you and Nails, y'all, y'all both decided to uh, to leave Covenant. Um, of course, she went to Warner, and you went to land air am i am i right 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 she she was that when she went to werner i was i had just left um from gold coast and i uh, went went home to show with my sister and my cousin mm-hmm. and uh I, and so i think she was at werner last i think she went to Warner like december of last year december or january of this year yeah but she... yeah i was on break i was on break while she was there uh, okay, okay, okay. So after so after that, you you uh, you again you got into uh, you got into land there, uh, and um, and you still there. So I mean, I mean, I like the company, man. Believe me when I tell you, uh, the company is, is on point. It's just that unfortunately, you know, and it's like that at every company. You have certain people they. They'll lock, they'll home in on somebody, and that's the person they just want to fuck with. Yeah, but but you still you you being with the company still you you still not being you you still don't get what you you still don't get what you wanted and what you signed off on. So how how are you going by to 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 alleviate that, man? I mean, are are you still trying to? Yeah, are you still trying to get a hold of the the recruiter and let them know, like, hey, you know, I, I signed off for sixteen for sixteen five a week, and I'm getting, you know, and I'm I'm getting twelve thirty, you know, you 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 know you you basically lied to me. So how are we gonna yeah, fix it? Right, right. So I pressed the issue, and so let me tell you what we're dealing with now, bro. Mm-hmm. All right. So okay. So I go. When I went to orientation, um, we I had to do a DOT physical, and for some reason, the DOT lady decided that she wants to uh, uh send me to do what's called a sleep study. Yeah, just and I, sleep, sleep apnea. CPAP. Yeah, right. So I'm like, so I'm so I'm like, yo, I thought people that do sleep studies, those are people that be snoring all loud and stuff at night, man. I know I don't snore because if I snored. Yo, truck and nails would have told my ass that yo nigga, you snore when you sleep, but she ain't never said nothing like that. So I know I ain't no snorer. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, so I'm like, I don't understand why this lady trying to make me do a sleep study. But at any rate, what um, was, what now, was the si- talk- Well, let what how uh, what what what's your height and weight, bro? I'm five foot nine, two forty three. All right, what's the size of your neck? Oh, she she measured it. I think it was like seventeen, eighteen. That's that's, somewhere. that's why. That's why. Seven my neck. That's but why. Yo, live, because yo, live, because live. they, they, you know, from they they said if you have like I I think I got like a a, a neck size between sixteen and seventeen. But I, you know, for me, fortunately, I I haven't I I haven't drove for a company that that required me to do a t- uh, to do a dot physical to uh to do a um uh, uh, a sleep apnea i mean i i talked to like it was like one of the doctors that i that i went to when i was with uh wooster motorways and he was like kind of leaning 
leaning on the side of me, you know, doing that test. But I was like, bro, I, I don't snore. I mean, you know, I recorded I, I recorded myself sleeping one night and I, I know mm -hmm. I don't snore. So but it's because <laughs> it, but it's because of your, you know, because of your weight and that size. They just want to make sure that, you know, when you sleep, you're 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 you're, you're not you're not losing your breath. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I wasn't sweating. I wasn't really sweating. It was to me. It wasn't an issue that she recommended. I was like, "Yo, folks, want to watch me sleep? Folks, you watch me sleep? Oh well." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It wasn't no consequence for me, but it became a consequence because now we now block out. We block out. Man, we didn't really talk about company policies and procedures and, and how mm -hmm. we know how we how we've been seeing companies do things. Okay, so now now in orientation, a driver comes back to orientation and hands. The uh the long the DOT long form and the medical card to the person in the orientation uh uh that's going to take all that stuff to the compliance department mm -hmm. and what are they going to what are they going to see they're going to see that the doctor recommended this driver to take a, a sleep study test and you know that they're not going to uh make that long form a, a two year uh physical form they they're going to make it a limited form they're going to give you ninety days. You know, to, to take that to sleep take that uh, test. test. Yeah, to take that sleep now, test. Now, now, uh, now, you as a person that works at the truck company doing these orientations and, and you're collecting these uh, medical forms every single day, what are you looking for on these medical forms that you get? They just looking. For, they they just looking forward to see if you can actually drive the freaking truck. And, and but they are they not actually looking at the expiration date of your physical. Well, they looking at they looking at the aspiration date. That's about it. I think that's about all that they look at. You know, right. uh, they they look at the they look at when you get your DOT certificate and when it expires. That's about it. I right. mean that. I right. mean, you you will get a call from safety. You know, I I know I did a few times. But, you know, you get a call from safety saying, "Hey, you know your your DOT physical." will be up in a couple of weeks or in a month or whatever the case may be. But as far as, as far as them looking on there to see, you know, see all your, all your vices and shit like that. I mean, I don't think they really look at that. No, no, but it's, it's not, some uh, companies, it's, it, it's some companies that if you, if you, if you on, uh, if you on a CPAP machine, then yeah, that's you know they 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 can make you compliant, and then they can hold you up because I just got finished talking to Marcus, and the company that he was with, you know, had him to, you know, he had to sit for about a week or so because he wasn't compliant with the CPAP, so that's why he left. But uh, but yeah, man, that's that's crazy that that these companies you know make you compliant, you know, try to try to put a compliance on a on a CPAP though. Hey, but the thing about it is it looks like they are using that as a uh as a retaliation toward me about asking about yo, why is it that I signed an offer letter offering me ninety thousand dollars, fifteen fifty every week. You know, it's like they're retaliating against me using sleep study against me because from from everything every company that I've been to my experience was when I when I showed up there, the person that I passed that long form and DOT card to, when he saw that the expiration was this year August, mm -hmm. and I'm in orientation, there a red flag should have been up. He was like, "Yo, so we told you to go renew your your DOT physical, and they only gave you ninety days. What's what's going on with you?" At least they, they wanted, at, at least they would have brought that to the attention. But right, right. so what like, they so so what they so basically they 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 trying they to get you they 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 they, they, they they trying to get you to uh get a CPAP machine or or what? Yeah, this is what so what they did is I mean they, they knew that uh, this DOT doctor wanted me to do this sleep study test. Me as a driver, I'm waiting to get this message from safety that we need you to report to this place to do your sleep study and then report back to the doctor's office. I'm, I'm, you know, after orientation was over, they threw me in the rental and they sent me out to the terminal in Greenville, Tennessee, right? 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the doctor, the doctor that recommended the sleep study is back in Nashville. And then when I get over here to Greenville, they put me on an account that only runs from Alabama. Uh, it runs from Atlanta to Birmingham, Alabama, and, and, and back. I, Atlanta. I, I, I'll I never go to Nashville. I, I think, I think, I, I, I don't want to speak out of turn, but I kind of think that's up to you to, the, 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 to make that appointment. Because and I did. And that's when that's I, what happened. When, when I, you know, with my, with, with my DOT physical, when I had that little mishap when I was with uh, Jay and R. Shrugel, that, you know, lady told me that, you know, yo, you, you know, you, you got to go to your doctor. You got to make it, you know, go to your doctor, get your eyes examined and all this other bullshit. You know, I asked them, I was like, well, ain't, ain't you guys supposed to? They was like, no, nah, you, you supposed to uh, make that appointment. So are, are you supposed to make that appointment for the sleep test? Yeah. 